Hey everyone, here's a little behind the scenes on how to go ahead and create your own media cloud using the online website Synchro Cloud. Um, you can see that their users have been creating uh, their own random and various clouds based on topics for just a little while now. Uh, but uh, I'm logged in. You can get a, create a free account. It's pretty straightforward. Looking for just for username, and password, and email. Um, so I'll click on my account, and I'm sure that I'm already logged in. And uh, on the back end here, you see that it's got your basic user settings, user profile options. And over here on the left-hand side, here's where it's my, here is where I can create my media clouds. So here's, I've been, already been working on a, a couple of clouds here. Uh, with fifth, my fifth graders, I've been working, or in fifth grade social studies class, I've been working with a, a, a video or a cloud of options uh, of content for the Muslim Explorer Ibn Batuta. So here, this is what it looks like on the inside. So here's my main list of all of the content I've uploaded so far. Uh, here are a couple of sets of images. Here are three videos. Here are two web links to a different... Uh, different site. And here is a PDF of uh, a PowerPoint. Um, so that's one of the, the things you'll notice is that when you go to add a file, so for example, you can add a video, add an image, add a hyperlink, or add links to websites, add a blog. Uh, Synchro Cloud does enable you to do some writing in here. It does have a very small um, uh, blogging platform for you to use, and another one to add a file. Well, let's, here, let's, let's start with adding a video. Adding a video is really pretty straightforward. Um, when you add the video, it, you have three options, linking, uploading from your computer, and, and go, connecting from YouTube. Um, the cool thing about these two is it also allows you to embed it. So if you're uploading video from your computer, um, it does give you embed code. Um, so, you know, you probably very well could use Synchro Cloud to upload your own media, as, as use like your own little media player, and it allows you to embed from here. You can also share. Uh, it gives you a direct URL and also some, and some other social media integration. It does give you an opportunity to create additional links, set a thumbnail, um, set up a menu so under videos you can start to categorize these things uh, that shows you what it looks like live uh, gives you all the video details um, so setting up video is pretty easy adding an image uh, also just as easy uh, gives you an opportunity you can either uh, excuse me you can either get a link off of website or you can go ahead and upload it directly from there um, all the other options are still available too so you can embed it share it from there uh, same thing with add a link uh, adding a link is really pretty straightforward too. All you need to do is copy in the the URL of that, the web address, and again the exact same options before in terms of sharing. Um, here's the adding a blog feature. When you add a blog, it does give you an opportunity. Uh, it does have a, a, a short, small WYSIWYG editor um, that gives an opportunity to write it that way. You can uh, publish or save as draft. Again, on the left hand side with all the other features that you see before. And last but not least, here's adding a file. And here's, like I mentioned before, it does give you an opportunity to upload all the major, uh, you know, the pretty traditional file formats, Word, PowerPoint, Excel. But the only problem is it will convert it to a PDF. So uh, in my Ivan Batuta, you know, I've been working in here. I went ahead and let me show you. Uploaded a PowerPoint file called Age of Exploration. And in essence, what it did is it just created it, made it a PDF. So uh, I have the ability to step through it and walk through it. So. Uh, from there, but you know, anything to do with custom animations, all, it flattens all that stuff out. So, yeah, it sees us all from there. So, that's all pretty straightforward. Um, uh, like I said, the one it looks like a feature that got dumped um, here just recently was the was the password feature, and uh, that's pretty frustrating because I really really liked that about Synchro Cloud was that you could password protect it, um, which is also kind of funny because that was the whole reason uh, I had had one of my media clouds here previously. I created a, a preschool Synchro Cloud, and when I first got introduced um, to Synchro Cloud at the Midwest Educational Technology Conference, the the folks who were introducing it said that you're able to password protect things. So probably within the past month, I had uploaded this preschool video and had password protected it, uh, which was kind of nice because you know to be able to create a cloud and to password protect a cloud so that only the people you want to. I had a teacher who was uploading who had uploaded some video here of a play that her preschoolers had done and wanted to password protect it for parents. So she was able to, but since I have I have since since I had uploaded this, I have not been able to 
to find that password button back again. So that may have gone by the wayside. I'm hoping not, and I'm hoping someone from Synchro, Synchro Cloud will uh, respond to this video or reply to it and say, hey, no, we didn't take it away, and you're just being an idiot, and it's you're missing it over here. So I'm hoping that's the case. But, but I mean, really, everything's pretty straightforward uh, under the settings. Um, basic settings, you can choose uh, kind of a skin to work with. You can upload a custom logo. Under the menu, uh, here's where you can go ahead and, and, and customize and create sections. Um, and it does have uh, not an overly robust analytics section, but it does give you some. And of course, you can view it live right there. But that's the under the hood version of Synchro Cloud. And uh, I'd check it out.